everybody, it's Chris, and I am back again to do another pour with you. A couple of weeks ago, I did a Dutch pour that really turned out amazing, and ever since then, that's all I can think about. And I've tried a couple of other things with it. Um, I just think it's really a beautiful effect. So my thought was, um, when I did the first one, it was a 12 by 12, and I thought it would really be cool to do a really big one but my concern was that the paint would not stretch far enough to get out into the edges of the canvas. So this is a 20 by 20 canvas. I have already prepped it. I did paint my sides white and then I've flooded the canvas with white. And then my thought was to do two different pours, one going this way on the canvas and the other one coming down this way. So I was thinking in order to try to keep it divided and know where the middle of the canvas was, that I just take some baker's twine and lay it from corner to corner. And hopefully that will kind of help me give a, give me a reference line of where the paint needs to be without leaving. I'm hoping it will not leave a line. So um, I think this will make it a little bit easier to do the paint puddles. Today I'm going to use Prussian blue, uh, deep violet, as well as dioxazine purple, and then the 24 karat gold extreme sheen. Um, I did thin my paints down quite a bit for this type of pour, and um, I took my white and thinned that down just a little bit more for this part of it. So I'm going to start by putting down a little bit of white just because this canvas was pouring probably about a half an hour ago, um, just to make sure that I could get it set up for you, and it took me a little bit to set up the, the tripod and make sure that everything is in view for you, and I apologize, it's not the best setup, but... You would not believe what my setup is right now. Okay, so um, I really love defile it, so I think I'll start with that in the center for my puddle. And I'm gonna kind of come up here a little bit. And I want a good amount of that color. And then I'll come down here on the right side and I'll do the Prussian blue. And on the left side, I'll do the dioxazine purple. And my thought is that I will do the opposite on the other side of the canvas. We'll see if that works. Okay, and then I think I want just a tiny bit more deep violet. I don't want all of that white space. And then I want a good amount of the gold because I really love this gold. I think what I'll do is kind of pour a nice generous amount right there. All right, and then I want to put some more white around. I think I'm good down here, but I do definitely want to make sure that I have plenty of white going out towards my edges so that this paint will move. And then of course, we'll blow the paint down into the color. But I want to make sure that my paint will move on the canvas once it gets, once I get it going. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow this side first and blow it out and then I'll turn the canvas and do this side. So I apologize for the noise, but here we go. I do have a lot of paint right here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this. I'm gonna straighten out my string a little bit. I think it probably was not a good idea to do this in the kitchen with the, <laughs> with the bar stools so close. All right, so I'm gonna turn this around. And normally I would blow on this, but I first wanna get all my paint down. And I wanna make sure I've got this in frame for you guys. And I'm gonna move this bar stool a little bit. <laughs> because there's paint all over the floor now too, so that's awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of paint down here so that we can move the paint around. I don't think I'll put quite as much as I did on this other side. All right, and then we're gonna put the deep violet down in the middle. Nice, healthy, generous dose of that. And then we're gonna do 
I want the Prussian blue on this side. So I want it the opposite of what I did on, it's actually the same pour as I did over here, but I want the colors on the opposite sides of each other. And then we're gonna put the dioxazine purple. And then I love all this gold. So I think we did good with that. So we'll make sure that we have a nice dose of purple in there, or excuse me, gold. And then let's put just a tiny bit of the deep violet on top of that. All right, now we are going to pour some more paint down to make sure that the paint will move. And I wanna make sure that I have enough paint to blow over my color there. All right, and then we're gonna use the blow dryer again. it made a difference to have all that white paint on this side for sure because this one blew out much further than this side did but that's okay all right so now I'm going to see if I can blow some of this out without getting myself in it that's the tricky part uh, let's see if I can move this a little bit, make it a little bit easier. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take the string off now that we're done with this so that that paint will kind of fill back in on that string area. Okay, and I do want to blow on this side, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get down close enough to the canvas without getting myself into it. I want to try to blow this part out too. I almost feel like I'd be better off with my straw, but we'll try this. All right. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is grab my straw and I'll be right back. I just don't feel like I can get to the areas that I need to get to, so we'll just use the straw. All right, well, I think we're going to call this the double Dutch pour. So that is it for that. I will take a final picture and post it at the end of the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks so much for watching today. Bye-bye.